Welcome back to another episode of That's Life with John Carver. On this episode, I want to share some thoughts on back-to-back -back C's. Back-to-back -back C's, the letter C. You're going to find that most people that have been very successful through life have been, at least in the beginning of their careers, very average and very ordinary. Martin Luther King, I was told and read by several sources, was a mediocre student when he was in college. Well, as we all know, if you know a little bit about history, is he is far, far better than mediocre when he passed away. In fact, he was a very eloquent speaker and moved millions of people as a result of not giving up, as a result of not quitting. There's something to be said about people who are viewed as mediocre and maybe they use that title of mediocrity as a stepping stone to excel and to do great things in life. So it seems like the people that are, in some people's eyes, average and ordinary, they keep getting up over and over and over again. In fact, Albert Einstein was told when he was young, quote, he wouldn't amount to anything. Albert Einstein wouldn't amount to anything. See, there's dozens of people, there's probably thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that thought of themselves as less than average, as mediocre, but they kept getting back up every single day. In fact, if you know the quote, uh, Michael Jordan said one time, I want to read his words to get it exactly right. He said, I've missed over 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I've been entrusted to take the winning shot, and I missed. I failed over and over and over and over again, and that's why I succeed. If there's any one lesson that I've learned in my career, is the people that have been truly successful, even though they fail, they keep getting back up over and over again. You see, there's a common thread. In fact, there's multiple threads of successful people in their lives. I want to go through several of them with you right now. They read a lot. They read books by and about successful people who have, in fact, fallen on their faces over and over again. They, frankly, they work out every day, or at least several times a week. They exercise which a byproduct of exercising your body, it really gets your mind in shape to really do extraordinary things in your life. So if you're not one that exercises regularly, I was allergic to exercising for a number of years, but since I've been exercising for more than a decade now, almost every day, it really impacts your life in a big way. These successful people, they understand that failing is not the same as failure. Again, failing is not the same as failure. They realize that if they allow their ego to take over, they're never going to be successful. If they allow their ego to take over, they will never be successful. The next point I want to share in my notes here, they've mastered the ability to say no to opportunities and conversations that take them all off track. Again, they, they understand how powerful the word no is. That took me a very long time to understand the power of no, because I want to please everybody. I want to make everybody happy. I want everybody to you think that I'm a nice guy, but you know, there are some people in your life that are suckers and not givers. You must say no to these people if you want to be able to focus on things in your life that will make you extraordinary. And finally, the final tip I want to share on this episode is they write down their goals every single day. In fact, they write down their goals for the following day, the night before. Let me say it again. They write down their goals for the following day, the night before. So that way, frankly, as you sleep, your mind is actually working on those goals to make those goals a reality for you. So it doesn't really matter if you get back-to-back -back C's or maybe if you failed dozens or hundreds of times. It does matter if you keep getting back up and getting better every single day. So if you look back in your life and you see yourself as being average and ordinary, it doesn't mean that you have to stay that way. My name is John Carver. I believe in you.